Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. One of the most exciting features for Windows 11 is the ability to install Android apps. Since October 20, 2021, Microsoft has announced Android app is available through Amazon App Store. It was on beta, preview, dev, and now since uh, January 26, it's in a release preview channel now. What that means, means you are able to directly go to your Microsoft Store and download Amazon App Store and install it without going to inside the program here. So if you look at the, the prerequisite and how to install Amazon App Store, you'll find lots of uh, device requirement as well. Um, so we will have to have some certain things to meet the minimum requirement. You will need Microsoft account. You also you will need Amazon account to use Amazon App Store. You will need at least 16 gig RAM. It says 8 gig RAM minimum, but it doesn't work for me. I have to bump it up to the 16 to use it. If you are not using SSD, you will get the error message like you can see here. Also process requirement, of course, you need to enable that virtualization on your Windows 11 PCs. So that shouldn't be a problem for most of the machines. So if you are meeting all those requirements, then let's start it. The installation steps are pretty simple. As long as your machine is meeting the system minimum requirements, as I mentioned before. So you can directly start to search Amazon App Store from your Microsoft Store. So this is the minimum requirement. As you can see, my machine has a decent CPU, 16 gig RAM, as I mentioned, 8 gig RAM will give me a trouble when I try to install Amazon App Store. So I was just think at 16 gig RAM. SSD disk, if you have HDD, and most likely it won't allow you to install it. You can open your Microsoft Store from your taskbar, or you can go to the Microsoft document, install mobile apps, and the Amazon App Store. By searching, you will find the link, and also you can get the Amazon App Store from here. So right now, I'm just going to go to here to search for it. Just type Amazon App Store, then you will see the icon shows up. If all your requirements meet this install button, going to show here. Click on it, install. Three steps shows up. So let's do setup. So do you want to allow this app to make changes to your devices? Of course, say yes. You can see there's small programs launched. We'll wait until it's done. Now you will need to get your PC ready for the Amazon App Store. So let's do download. Yes. It's starting to download the program, which is Windows subsystem for Android. So it probably will take some time. So I will pause the video. Once it's ready for installation, I will continue. Downloading hasn't take too long, just a couple minutes. And it's completed. We will do next. So it's going to ask you to restart your PC. So we are going to do that as well. So just restart the PC. It's restarting. System has been rebooted. I logged in the system. After wait probably one minute, the Windows subsystem for Android is starting to install. So this is going to take a while to get it done as well. So you might need to wait a bit to get this done. To make the video shorter, I'm going to 
pause the video recording and once it's done I will come back to continue actually it wasn't take too long just probably one or two minutes then it's completed so um, then you need a Amazon account to log in if you don't have one just create a new one since I already have one I'm just logging from here So I logged in, it shows Amazon App Store is not currently available in your country. Since I'm in Canada, this is only available for the people in US. In that way, I'm going to change the, my country to US and I'm going to try it again. After I used the personal VPN, I changed my public IP to US IP address. So in this way, I should be able to run Amazon App Store and log in with Amazon.com account. So I found the Amazon App Store has been installed and I, now I can click open to start with it. So when you click open, it will start in Windows subsystem for Android. This may take a um, minute to start a little virtual platform. So once it's done, then you should be able to see Amazon App Store window. Yeah, it's uh, just hiding behind it. So I already and. Uh, Amazon customer, so sign in. Previously, we see Amazon.ca. Let's do not now. Finally, we logged in and uh, we use uh, Amazon US account to log in Amazon.com US account to log in. So now we are able to see those thousand apps provided by Amazon App Store. We can download it. Just click get it and you should be able to download these apps and the games. So I'm gonna give quick try a couple of them. Again, this is for the normal process if your system is meeting the system minimum requirement. But for somehow you are not in the US then you have to have uh, amazon.com you can use um, the vpn I, i'm just using a small vpn connecting to the us then create an amazon.com account to log in so you can use it if you if your machine is not a meet meet the minimum requirement which is doesn't have like 16 gig ram or doesn't have ssd then there's a manual process which is still are able to run this Windows subsystem for Android and you still can run those Android applications. By the way, this process is only for Amazon app stores, but how about the other Android applications? So I will create another video to show you those process, which is you can sideload any Android apps into your Windows 11 system. So um, that's pretty much everything i want to show you in this video as usual i will say 
Thank you for your watching. If you like this video and think this video has any information useful, please give me a thumb up. And also, if you haven't subscribed it, please subscribe it and hit the bell icon. Then you will get update when I have a new video shows up. Thank you.